Well, hey guys, and welcome to Janet being Janet. Okay, so in this little episode, we're going to talk about how Miss Katie Joy failed at doxing Molly Go Wildly. So if you're interested in this, make sure y'all stick around, okay? Guys, I, I can't help but laugh. All right, hold on. Alright guys, let's talk a little bit about how Miss Katie Joy, in my opinion, and only my opinion, kind of lacked whenever it come to uh, covering and going all about trying to dox Miss Molly Golightly. I, I think she was messing up on a couple of things, and I think she overlooked a couple of things, so I just want to point some things out to you, okay? Okay, y'all, just hang with me. Now, guys, all of this is just wigam a wash to me, but I'm going to go ahead and read it to you because without a crystal ball, I actually, you know, put this out there. So, please, everyone, I'm not doing this anymore. I do not want to be associated with Molly's name. I do not care if she talks about me. I had no clue about her arrest, FBI embezzlement charge, New Orleans arrest, police report for taking a photo of a child inside a church, trespassing. That's not me. The woman that helped Vaughn's mother get a lawyer, Brittany, went to prison for impersonating a lawyer in 2015. She has four convictions for theft, fraud, etc. So she was sentenced to two years in prison. I want Letitia to see her son, but I'm worried about the people helping her. I have all the info on Brittany's criminal convictions. Molly's arrests are documented. She was able to get out of an FBI charge by doing a pretrial diversion program. The FBI knows about Molly because they literally know who she is. I told Dre, uh, I was told Dre told someone that she reported Molly to the FBI. If you care about this case, please focus on Vaughn. Quit the sideshow. I want nothing to do with these people who are turning this into a circus. And then she went ahead and posted Molly's mugshot and, you know, some information on her. So let, let me tell you why this is so funny. Let me get into that, okay? So let me give you a little bit of a backstory when it comes to Miss Molly Golightly and myself. Now, a few years ago, I used to, uh, I was really invested in this case that Molly was covering. And so I followed Molly Golightly a lot and I listened to a lot of her live streams and, you know, she had me invested in her channel. So one thing that I learned about Miss Molly is she don't care if you go ahead and try to make her look a fool. She'll make herself look a fool and she'll laugh about it just for the fun of it. She just doesn't care. And I like that about Molly. I always have liked that about Molly. She tries to not take so much so serious. And now, like I said, guys, all of this is my opinion. But it actually comes out, believe it or not, that Miss Molly was on wife swap and uh, I'll link that down below for you so that uh, you can go and watch that episode for yourself where Molly says her name and actually talks about her life so did KJ actually win in uh, in doxing Miss Molly I, I don't think so Molly actually went on her channel after she was arrested and she addressed this issue about her arrest and she talked about it and she got all into it. That's where most of my screenshots have come from. And I will link that down below where she tells her story of the of the arrest and how the mugshot came around. But here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Molly capitalized on that, okay? So not only can you get yourself a Molly mug, a Molly mugshot picture, a Molly mugshot um shirt lost train thought there for a second you can get all of these different things on her teesprings so molly used this and used what happened to her for her benefit she didn't let it keep her down so exactly what did miss without a crystal ball expose whenever it comes to molly go lightly huh just just what did she expose because i think molly go lightly exposed herself a long time ago just my opinion guys so now I pose the question to you. Alrighty, what kind of quote unquote reporter couldn't figure out that Molly was actually on TV? I mean, come on now, if she's done her background search on Molly and has all this stuff going on Molly, then she ought to know that much, right? Right? I mean, she could look at Molly's uh, episode and, you know, say stuff about that. But I haven't seen Miss Katie Joy talk about anything whenever it comes to that. Not one thing whatsoever at all. So do we actually believe in half the things that Miss Katie Joy writes anymore? Me, personally, no, I do not. I, I just kind of ignore it. But Molly, 
I, I, I just want to say something to you if you watch this, okay? Just saying, guys, I never in, in my wildest dreams would have thought that I would be talking about Katie Joy and Molly Golightly in a video together. I never thought I would have come to this. Not whatsoever at all. I don't really watch Molly anymore because my true crime era is kind of over. But, you know, I never thought it would come to this. But, but Molly, I, I just have a question for you. Did you actually take the mugshot picture that you're showing of Katie Joy as being serious? Just just asking, all right, did, did you think that that was her serious mugshot? I mean, come on, guys. What do y'all think? <laughs> do y'all think that it's serious? Uh, all right. I, I, I got to leave this video alone. I could go on for days and days about this. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day, night, evening, weekend, holiday, year, whenever you might be watching this. And guys, y'all remember to smile today. Or make somebody else smile, because it really can make a difference. All right, guys, y'all let me know what you think, and if you knew this about Molly in the comments below. And like my disclaimer says, no hate to anybody. I'm just having fun on YouTube. Bye, guys.